Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in our tutorial series. So today we will be looking at how to create error plots for bar plots. So we'll be using the ggplot2 package here and we'll be creating a sample data frame which has columns such as trees, location, height and standard deviation. So we need something like standard deviation or mean or some parameter like that which will be useful while creating error plots because ultimately what we want to show through the error plots is the variability in data uh, something like error or uncertainty which tells us that like how much the data which we have is different from the reality once we have created the data frame so the data frame looks something like this as i had mentioned we have four columns here and so for creating the error bars uh, we will be creating it for the bar plots as usual let's create a sample plot and here we'll be using the ggplot function as we have done before and creating a bar plot using the geombar function basically we are telling what is the data set here and the aesthetic here we will be using location for the x-axis and for the y-axis we will use the height and fill equal tree which means that the inside of the bar plots will be colored based on the value of trees and here the position dodge we use just to sh tell that uh, we are not stacking our bar plots and what we need to keep in mind here is the geom underscore error bar function so this is the function we need to create error bars and we need to specify the y minimum so here i am giving the y minimum to be the height and y max to be the height plus two times the standard deviation we can also give something like uh y minimum equal height minus two times the standard deviation or just minus one term the standard deviation or maybe something like mean minus standard deviation so it's up to you you can change the values here based on your need and we are telling what the uh, width of this error bar should be and again we are positioning to make sure that they are not overlapping and it's ba being balanced when we have multiple error bars and we provide a color for it and here we use the scale underscore field underscore manual function and we are providing a separate colors so not the default one maybe we'll run this code so that it will be more clear so yeah this is our final result like i had mentioned we gave our two colors corn flower blue and yellow green so that's the color which is used here or else they will just choose some default color and the error bars here shows the deviation so for here we have height plus two times standard deviation and the y minimum is height that's why it's not seen so but in case if we change to something like minus two times standard deviation yeah then this will be extended towards the bottom so well yeah that's all for now i hope you guys found this video helpful let me know in the comment section if you have any other queries or would like to know anything specific about the function which i had mentioned till next time ciao